Those close to this teacher and musician call him Dr. Laz. Dr. Laz says he remembers one woman who during a performance stood up from her wheelchair. The mayor's office contacted Lazarson. David uh, Lazarson, Dr. Lazarson. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For community activist David Lazarson, the tragic event signaled a desperate need to end the hatred and bring together neighbors who had lived side by side without really interacting. It's not unusual to use sports to bring distant factions together. And in Crown Heights, this approach is working. But Richard Green and David Lazarson took their efforts a step farther. Do Don't care, care what you look like or the color of your skin. The rap group is Dr. Laz and the Cure. And even though many in his Lubavitcher community say his efforts are unorthodox, David Lazarson says, it's working. Mark. The Torah talks about making peace, shalom. That's what we're supposed to be doing here. Dr. Laz was a key player in helping to ease racial tensions in New York's Crown Heights neighborhood when Hasidic Jews clashed with blacks in the summer of 1991. He wrote a book about it. Showtime turned the story into a movie. We are Laz and the Cure! My name is uh, Dr. Laz, and I work at the Quest Center. What goes on here is, is just unbelievable. CURE is, stands for Communication, Understanding, Respect, and Education. And I think that just applies so aptly to what, what's going on here. He came to the Quest, and he enhanced the curriculum for the students by bringing in music that have really um, broadened our curriculum. It has brought um, our school into the spotlight. And he's a um, person that always see the right side of life. And we need that at this school. And it's so good for the children. I mean, that's the only time you really see them excited when it's time to go to music. Music is the universal language. Everybody understands it and he has proven that to be true. He touches on all sensory levels and it's just amazing, amazing program, amazing experience. I, I enjoy it myself, we all do. It's, it's a nice bonding experience for all of us and we usually don't like to leave. The music program has not only brought joy to the school, but he goes out into the community and he shares his talents, um, you know, in nursing homes and anywhere that he can go and carry the children he has done that. I just think that it's the most remarkable thing that has happened to the Quest. Just started doing like a choir with them, and then I got the idea for to bring along the speech person to to have her work with them and um, and sign them. The equation is music equals magic. And then, you know, once you have that, then once you get some magic going, then, you know, hey, anything could happen. Go, Raven! Go, Raven! Go, 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 Raven! Go, Raven! Go, go! go, Raven. go, Raven. go, go what the choir does in the whole music program is that it, it, it provides a vehicle for this, for this magic to take place in a way. We've seen the, the choir and what, what these kids do impact others in so many ways, so many, um, I think, really positive ways. You know, it makes you feel good to see them, you know, still reaching out. They give out so much to others when, you know, when they're performing that it's just there's an automatic connection that they make with the audience so it just they 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 light sparks and they have so much love for and warmth inside that it 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 just kind of spreads to others you can't measure it you 
can't, you can't uh, quantify it, but it's, that, that's the real stuff. They've been able to, you know, to teach others and, and to um, educate others and sensitize others, and I think also to, um, um, you know, I would say to really to inspire other people. We're gonna encourage everybody to get up and shake your booty. Okay. It's time to shake that thing, and we're gonna have everybody in the choir go on out and pick somebody to dance with. I see people dancing up and down. And like the lady in the wheelchair, Miss Newbold, she never get up. Miss Newbold's never, nobody takes that much time with her, you know. She'll say, did you see me dancing? And I'll say, yeah, I saw you dancing. You know, it might not seem like a lot, but it's a lot. It's a lot. He's remarkable. He's one of the greatest teachers that I've ever known, and I have worked with many, many teachers. He knows what it takes to make people happy. And to him, he has a bag that's so full of phrases or jokes, something that is kind, something that's funny, even to the children, the, little, the, the youngest kids that we have. What I love most about my job, I try to brighten kids' lives and just make them happy. And it's, it's the greatest job in the world. This might not be a, an actual cure, you know, for the challenges that these kids have. It's definitely, it's part of the cure. I'm dreaming big, I'm thinking big for them and, uh, and for the choir. And I think there's, uh, you know, there's no limit to, uh, to what we can do.